Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to do a quick YouTube video on diabetes insipidus. And I'm so excited because I'm back to uh, tutoring you guys on YouTube. YouTube videos are really fun, and it's a break from uh, Skyping or FaceTiming or, you know, everything else that I do. So, diabetes insipidus, if you brought the Remar review, review package, this is in your homework book, okay? Um, and it is on page 13. So, if you have your homework book, get it out. And you can do it with me, and you don't have to do it for homework on your own. Now, I've noticed a huge trend when it comes to diabetes insipidus in you all preparing for NCLEX. And the trend is that you don't know it. You don't know what it is. You don't know what it means. So that's the problem. So I'm going to tell you, okay? Starting, and, and what's really um, great about knowing your medical terminology is just sometimes you can learn a lot just by looking at the name, okay? So, and for instance, diabetes. When you guys to see diabetes, what do you think of? Most of you are going to say, when I see diabetes, I think of hyperglycemia or high blood sugar. And that is absolutely wrong, okay? And that's a problem that was not corrected in nursing school. Diabetes, the term diabetes has nothing to do with high blood sugar, okay? Diabetes actually means someone who is putting out a lot of urine. Okay. So diabetes is a patient who's putting out a lot of urine. The word after diabetes typically will describe what that urine looks like. So you guys are familiar with diabetes mellitus. Okay. So diabetes means somebody that's putting out a lot of urine, and mellitus means that that urine tastes sweet. Remember back in the day, they used to taste the urine to see if you had a problem with your blood sugar being too high. Okay. So when you think about diabetes insipidus, if you're thinking, oh, this patient has high blood sugar, you're completely wrong, okay? Diabetes means the patient's putting out a lot of urine. Insipidus will inscribe, describe what that urine looks like. So insipidus is a term that means colorless, odorless, and tasteless, all right? So that's what your patient is going to be presenting clinically. Now, when a patient has diabetes insipidus, they have too little of the antidiuretic hormone. And basically, the antidiuretic hormone tells your body how much urine to put out or how much to hold on to, okay? Yeah, how, yeah, <laughs> simple. So if your patient has too little of this antidiuretic hormone, what you're going to see is somebody putting out a whole bunch of urine, okay? Because nothing's telling the body to reabsorb water, okay? So patient with diabetes insipidus signs would be Patient is putting out anywhere from 4 to 20 liters of urine a day. And if you think about uh, 20 liters of urine, that is a lot of urine for somebody to be putting out, right? So your patient is going to essentially become severely dehydrated. So it's important to know the signs of dehydration, which are <laughs> extreme thirst, dry mucous membranes, poor skin turgor, all right, your patient will also have um, postural hypotension and tachycardia, all right? Now, um, for NCLEX, you got to know how to treat diabetes insipidus, all right? And the first thing you need to know is find out what's causing diabetes insipidus because you just don't wake up with diabetes insipidus. There's a reason why you have it, okay? And sometimes it's some, you know, trauma to the brain. Patient may have had a stroke, some tumors near the pituitary gland, all those things could be causing diabetes insipidus. So you want to find the cause and treat the cause. Now, you can also give a medication that will act like the antidiuretic hormone and tell the body to stop putting out all this urine, okay? And that's going to be like a pressing drug, like vasopressin, okay? You hear that garbage man? It's early in the morning, so sorry. Um, so, yeah, so that's diabetes insipidus. You guys will never, ever get it confused with diabetes mellitus. You know the signs, and you know the treatment. See you later.